in the love of many Auburn fans' hearts as well as memes. I, yes. I, I'm looking forward to those facial expressions <laughs> once again. He will be the bane of many, many oh, yeah. other team because of the way he plays. It is still summer, but we are still talking basketball. It speaks to the importance that Bruce Pearl continues to make um, as his time here, making it a priority for Auburn fans to follow, to focus on. We have mentioned transfer portal discussions and things like that on previous episodes, but we can finally feel like definitively now, minus maybe an addition of a walk-on or if somebody else comes available, the roster that is for Auburn basketball because of a brand new commitment that just came in for the Tigers this past week. Uh, a Darren Scott, a Juco power forward, essentially filling Yawan Traor, who was the first transfer out, I believe. So that kind of almost is a full circle when you think about things. So, Austin, I would just like for us uh, very briefly in this segment to kind of take a maybe a way too early look at the roster and see what we uh, we think about it. So just opening thoughts for you about how you view this team, who's still here, who's coming in, what you got? Yeah, it's been a big, big change. You know, it not a lot of seniors uh, that – we're completely done with their eligibility. Um, and so, but it's been a big roster overhaul mm -hmm. through a different, a lot of different ways. Um, and so, you know, we, the guard position was heavily scrutinized over the end of the year, um, right or wrong, but that area seems to be, you know, one of the big focal points of how all that, this next seat roster will look with the early addition. I think Denver Jones was the very first portal pickup, yep. um, for Auburn and, a very highly sought after transfer from Florida International, um, and one a lot of people liked. Can shoot the ball at a very high clip uh, from distance. It's what a lot of Auburn fans have been wanting more of. So I think that's going to be a, a big position of uh, a, an upgrade. But there's a lot of cogs that got to go together. We we talked about, uh, or we've talked about how Aiden Holloway is coming in. He's still a freshman. Um, he and Trey Donaldson will battle for that point guard spot. And then there's Denver Jones, but Katie Johnson is also still here. Um, and we all have the, the craziness that is KD. Well, psycho. Um, our, he's, but he's our psycho. He is our um, psycho. And so, you know, it'll be interesting to see how those things weave together. And then uh, you go all the way up to, uh, you know, a lot of the portal losses for Auburn, uh, outside of probably Alan Flanagan, we're bench players. And we're, mm -hmm. we're guys with, with Chance Westry and Yohan Treor. Um, guys that were unproven but had a lot of potential, um, but they decided to try their luck somewhere else. And Auburn kind of had to add depth uh, for those spots. And I think they did that well, especially with some Juco guys who have had experience at playing college basketball, for one, yeah. um, but have also shown success. And, and you hit on um, a Darren Scott. We always love anyone with the first initial A and the last name Scott. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I should have known you'd work that back in here. <laughs> so I think he'll be incredibly successful, obviously. Um, but yes, because every A Scott has been successful. <laughs> name one that hasn't. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> I, I, can, I can see the point. <laughs> name, name one that has. Um, anyway. Oh, uh, you said it, not me. Uh, but uh, and so I think that, you know, really, when you look back on what the portal season has been in this recruiting season, I still go back to, I think, the biggest win because nobody really expected having to deal with it was make getting Janai Broom back because he played so well in the G League Combine, the then the NBA Draft Combine, um, and looking like there were teams that could want to take him in the second round and, and yep. seeing if that was something he wanted to pursue. Thankfully, he's coming back, and that's a huge piece for Auburn, um, and they did not get – blindsided by losing their big to the NBA draft. And now they're having to scramble other teams in the state are having to do that. So I'm very <laughs> thankful that Janai broom is back. And I think people are really excited about this team. I, I don't think everyone's super high outside. People are high on this team because there's not a lot of big names on right. it. Uh, and it. And it looks like a bit, a lot of big names left. Um, but I think the way Bruce Pearl and the staff has constructed this team um, is going to be great. And we have, I mean, we haven't even talked about the, the addition and coaching yep. um, with Coach Thompson. Yes, Corey Thompson. Yeah, uh, Corey 
Wow, gosh. It's Did not, I miss that last it's not, it's not. It's not Thompson. This wow, how am I, 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 Well, while you <laughs> correct us with, from the last names, uh, Corey Williams. Will, I think Williams, Williams. Corey Williams. Yes, wow. that's correct. I had it in my head, too, but when you panicked, it made me panic. It's like, do I have it wrong? Do I have it wrong? I don't wrong? know why I went Thompson. We just went from one C. Williams to another C. Williams. But uh, anyway, anyway, Corey Williams, I think that'll be a great addition, too. So. It looks like things are whole for Auburn basketball at this moment, and uh, yeah, a lot, a lot to get excited about. You did a good job, I think, putting it like in a kind of an all-encompassing basket there. Let's for a few minutes here just break it out a little bit. I think when you look at this roster, you look, you can divide it a couple different ways: new people, old people. Uh, really, within that, you can say guards versus mm -hmm. uh, big men, and what's new and what's old. Uh, let's start with the new. Maybe Aiden Holloway comes in. As the heir apparent uh, to Wendell Green as the point guard with Wendell no longer being here, do not dismiss our boy Trey Donaldson. Do mm -hmm. not dismiss him in any way. He will factor into this game at point guard, whether that is a starter or a not, or not. Uh, that's going to be a really fun thing to watch. I do. I like that you brought up Katie. I find him as a little perplexing how he fits into this role he is that smaller guard that i think a lot of people not him personally maybe sometimes but got frustrated that saying we were smaller we need bigger guards and you saw bruce do that with going out to get a lot of these bigger shooting guards small forward type guys uh, that can now fill a lot of different roles whether that's chad baker mazara denver jones cheney johnson uh it's a lot of options for Bruce to use alongside KD. So I guess a quick question for you about like, how do you see KD fit into all of this? Yeah, I think we saw a little bit of how KD kind of transitioned into his role last year, toward the yeah. end of last year, right? Like he's going to be probably one of your first guys off the bench. And, and I think he got into that role and once he accepted it, and I think he, you know, the coaching staff worked well to let him know that was going to be his role um moving forward officially that might have happened on the fly during the season last year but you know going into this off season um you know obviously when you bring in a guy like denver jones who's very highly sought after mm -hmm. and is directly above his or in his spot um with a guy like zep jasper leaving you know it's kind of the right. writings on the wall everybody knows what's happening so for him to still stay and accept that role, I think we're going to really see him as one of the first two guys off the bench. And we know KD can get hot. And so I think if he stays focused on that um, and then being his crazy Tasmanian defensive self, uh, I think it'll, it, he will fit well on this team and he'll still be the focus of and the love of many Auburn fans' hearts as well as memes. I, yes. I, I'm looking forward to those facial expressions <laughs> once again. And he will be the bane of many, many oh, yeah. other team because of the way he plays. So, you know, I, I bring him up as like a special topic within this discussion because I don't want us to lose sight of how special and how um, important KD is to this team because we're all excited about these new guards, you know, maybe some That's bigger right. size amongst them. But KD, let's not even forget Chris Moore. Chris Moore is a solid basketball player that's still here at the bigger guard, small forward-ish type of position and really got a lot of respect last year, was starting at one point, and I thought doing a very good job uh, in what he was being asked to do there. But when you mix in special names like Denver Jones, Chad Baker, Mazar, Chaney Johnson, this, and then we already talked about the point guard options there too. Obviously, we don't want to get into the game of, oh, we're going to be great. You know, it's already written in stone. But there's some intriguing options here at guard, let alone at the big man position. And as I think we talked about it last episode, the sigh of relief that we all have had um, that we've gotten back all of them. Uh, well, Jani Brown, yeah. Dylan Cardwell, um, and then my boy. I, I, Jay, I was about Jaylen. to say, you know, I, I, I'm, I, wait, listen, I'm waiting on the I had it well in up in mouth. my chest because I was like, <laughs> I was almost, we almost lost him. Jalen Williams coming back. Uh, to be part of this team and you add in a darren scott there is your four probably in the rotation you know different positions center power forward but that's your big your front court your thoughts on those guys yeah that's a big overhaul when you when you talk about or well, not a big overhaul because you're adding a darren scott in and and maybe cheney johnson slides in there some chad baker mazar slides in there some but you get your guys back that you know can contribute and mm -hmm. i've seen we've 
talked about it before. I've seen a lot of the, you know, focus on positive negative of, of Jalen Williams and Chris Moore. I think these guys are such crucial cogs to this Auburn rotation, but we've seen them at their best when they don't have to be the guy. They're incredibly great role players, and they know their role and how they can help the team. Um, when they don't have to be the guy, they I mean, they're hitting all cylinders and they're on fire. I think with the additions Auburn's made now, Jalen Williams can go back to doing his thing and – you know, you look up and he's filling up the stat sheet, but he doesn't have to get the notoriety and he doesn't have to be the guy that we're all talking about after the game. He's just playing his role and doing his spot and it's effective. Same with Chris Moore. We're never going to see Chris Moore fill up, you know, the points column for four straight games. It's just not going to happen. But if, man, if we had the hustle column, it'd be off the charts. We know yep. his, his plus minus is going to be huge. So those guys, I'm really excited for them with the additions of the bigs because they'll be able to fit in their roles seamlessly. Um, and, and I think, you know, it's never, I don't like when Auburn fans harp on these guys because there are guys, yes, we always want them to play to their max potential and at their best. Um, but these guys are quality basketball players who I have no doubt if Jalen Williams were to leave or Chris Moore to leave, they're going to end up at good spots and they're going to be highly wanted. So it is good that we got those guys back and it's good that they're joining this rotation of big men because uh, I'm excited. It's a roster full of maybe a lot of unknown, but we've got so much experience, Kyle. And so I think it's going to be a good year. It, it can't come quick enough. And let it not be forgotten. And oh, there's boy. other players, walk-ons that we're not going to have time to mention and things like that. Uh, we're just hitting the main roster. But uh, speaking of walk-ons. The Berminator. The Berminator. <laughs> Speculation, rumors not confirmed yet that I know of that he may receive a scholarship with two. I think there are still two available. Well deserved. Bruce tends to like to do that. He's hinted that might be coming not to him specifically, but you just you do the math. Listen, folks, special player, special players, special coaching staff, a new, I want to call it a new era, but just a new field of things, roster-wise, coaching staff-wise. Feels like we may be heading in the right direction, and I'm excited to watch the roster that is for this upcoming year of 2023 and 2024.